Willard Katsande is Willard Katsande born in 1986 in Mtoko in a family of um, seven. I'm the, the only boy. My upbringing was tough because my father died when I was 10 and my sisters, most of them, they were married. Then my mother, by that time my mother was in the city and my mother decided to relocate to, to rural areas. I stay with my 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 sister, the, the fifth born. And uh, by the time I was 18, that's when she gave birth to the boy I always called my son, uh, Kelvin. The father refused my sister and the pregnancy, you know. So it's painful. So I was just there for my sister from day one till now. So he's the one actually made me have a purpose in life. Why? Because he made me leave junior football to go play with other people so that I can get a source of income to look after him. That's made me strong. That's made me who I am today. But Sunday puts it in the back of the net. And finally, guys achieves the My love for soccer started uh, when I was six years old. It was um, 1992. My father took me to my first match I watched, and my father gave me Willard the name after a Zimbabwe legend called Willard Kumalo. He was just giving me the name because he loved the guy he, and he loved soccer, and though he didn't play soccer. Let me tell you something funny. My father bought me a corn ice cream, you understand? I always tell my kids about it. Because it was my first time, you know, growing up in rural areas, now you are exposed to these nice things. So when we were eating and watching that game, so I finished the way the cream was. I didn't know where to put the corn, you understand? I asked him like, uh, Daddy, where should I put this? By the time I turned, he I was angry. But at the same time, I was crying. I didn't know, you understand? Then he, he took it and ate. So when I went home and told my mom, my mom, instead of being mad at my dad, he was, she was laughing, you understand? I joined a, a local team when I was um, 12 called NRZ, National Railways of Zimbabwe. It was a, a, one of the, the best team in the city for juniors. Until when I was 14, that's when I leave junior football and go to play with people because of my situation, you understand? Then the coach from the a team called Frandia Steel. He saw me and they says, no, we can train with you. And the team was in, in um, MDC, if I'm to put, according to the leagues here in South Africa. I used to come with my shins. My shins were swollen, eh? Because those people, like, they used to kick, brah. The coach, he used to tell the players, like, no, this kid is inside the field. Don't feel for him. Go mark him. The way you mark anybody, you understand that thing is actually making you tougher and tougher and tougher. Even when I go with my swollen shins, my mom used to boil water and used to press it. Tomorrow it's gonna be down. Then I go again. You understand? Because obviously I need to play football so that I can gain something. My mother could actually take the money and we buy for the baby and my my sister and the family. <laughs> It was 2009, and uh, that's when I was first called the national team. Life was funny, because I never played. Uh, uh, I never played much. I made, I think, four starts and 11 subs. Then I was, I was bought by Kaiser Chiefs, and uh, here I am, 10 years here, and uh, I hope still going strong. Playing for Kaisership for the past 10 years, it's, an, it's the biggest achievement on my own, like in me, we let Katsande village boy. Even in my city where, where I grew up, nobody thought I would be Kaisership for a year. Uh, it's been good, I don't want to lie, it's, it's been a good ride for me. And you know that you, when you're playing for Kaisership, you are saving lots of millions of people, fans around Africa and the world. Every footballer in the country, where well, they're playing in their best football in another team. But when you talk to them, they wish to be a case chief. So for me to be chosen to represent this team for the past 10 years, it's an actual an achievement on its own. <laughs> playing in Derby, Derby's are very, very special. I don't want to lie, because I don't remember. I think I play 
should be 29 or 30 consecutive derbies. If you are to ask me, was there an easy derby, I'll tell you no. Because derby is derby. Everyone is actually ready to, to dish out their best soccer. This game is more than a game. My name means I've got a couple of them, but myself, I give myself a uh, boss and book, Kitoko Makas. Why I, I love it is because I have a friend who is a, a musician uh, in Zim. Uh, he teaches me, uh, he's from GRC. He learned Shona, so he teaches me their language from GRC called Lingala. So Lingala, Mboka means country, and uh, Kitoko Makas means everything is nice, everything is beautiful, everything is positive. It's something you just give yourself to give yourself confidence, you know. It's not arrogance, but it's being confident. Three oh one appearance for Kaiser Chiefs. We're not just talking three oh one for just a team, but you're talking about three oh one and a team has a huge and rich history. Uh, for me, from where I come from to be where I am now, I'm very, very proud of myself, of what I've done for the club and uh, what I'm still gonna do to add on those 301. So it's been a good journey for me and I'm proud of myself. And I'm sure if my parents were here, especially my father, because he never seen me playing football, but he wanted me to play football, I was going to be proud. And it's something I'm going to care until the rest of my life. This is something I need to be remembered of. Like we had a guy who was just selfless, try to give everything for the team. As long as the team is doing good, that's the most important thing to me.